This week on Cardinals Kids, see how you can get a free frozen treat at the stadium. The frozen fun continues, this time at the Magic House. And work off those calories while you get fit with Fred Bird. Get ready, because Cardinals Kids starts right now. Take me out to the Cardinals. Take me out with the kids. It's friends and fun and Fred Bird, too. There's always something great just waiting for you. So let's root, root, root for the Cardinals. Come on, flip up your lids. Cause it's one, two, three strikes. You're out with the Cardinals, kids. Oh, yeah. Hey, kids, I'm Andy Bennis. This is Fred Bird, and you're watching Cardinals Kids, brought to you by SSM Cardinal Glenn and Children's Medical Center right here on Fox Sports Midwest. Hey, Fred, what you doing there, kid? You having a little breakfast? Uh, no thanks, Fred. Hey, you know, there are healthier things you could be eating for breakfast. Look at you, Fred. You got donuts all over the place. You might as well just glue those donuts to your chicken legs, because that's right where it's going to go. Listen, it's time to get rid of the donut in your hand and the one around the waist. We got to get you moving. Come on. Hey, Fred, I like your sweatbands. Those look awesome, but before we start exercising, we need to stretch. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Stretch out our core, just like this. Get our trunk moving. Wow, Fred, you're a little brittle. Now it's time to stretch out those chicken legs. I mean the hamstrings, just like this. Look, bend down, touch your toes. That's good, Fred, let me help you out. A little crackly, but good. Don't you think, Professor You Man? Yeah, it kind of sounded like my Aunt Martha's ankles. But you know what? I I'm glad to see that Fred Bird's wanting to get in shape. You know, that that's a good thing. Kids, you know what they say. A rolling stone gathers no moss. See? No moss. Now, kids, if you haven't heard that phrase before, what it means is uh, it's good to keep moving, stay active, even uh, you know, spin around if you like, like the, like the caps in the cap dance. It's time for the Powered by Peabody Cap Dance. All right, kids, try to follow the cap with the baseball underneath it. Here we go. Watch out below. Anybody else getting dizzy? Whew. Oops. Ah, I think I lost it. Look at them go. Those caps are really moving. Here comes the tricky part. Okay, is the ball under cap one, two, or three? It's number two. Great job, and thanks for playing the Powered by Peabody Cap Dance. Coming up next, learn how to get a free frozen treat at the stadium. Plus, the exercise class continues. You're watching Cardinals Kids, brought to you by SSM Cardinal Glennon Children's Medical Center, where their love for kids just keeps on growing. you're scared about what Maggie are you afraid of getting injured or sick not since I've met you you show me what being brave and never giving up is all about cancer wasn't so tough now hitting a curveball that's hard let's go hit some curveball to the thousands of fans supporting homers for help the Cardinals and Cardinal Glennon say thank you for helping us get kids like Maggie Bohannon back in the game homers for health is powered by Peabody and you make your pledge today at Deerberg's Johnny Max or online at Glennon.org Hey kids, welcome back to the show. Now, if you haven't heard, Fred Bird started a much needed exercise program. So, we started with a little stretching, we got our muscles warmed up, now it's time to get the old heart pumping, Fred. Gotta get the heart pumping. What do you say we run in place? Whoa, 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 that's enough for now, big fella. 
What do you say you sit down here? Here, take a break. Sit here on this ball and rest a little bit. Here you go, Fred. Let me help you up here. Sit on the ball. Hey, kids. While Fred sits down here and catches his breath, let me tell you about a great way to cool off right here at the stadium for free. Hey, count it down for me, teeter boy. Three, two, one, roll tape. Welcome to Ice Cream Sundays, everybody. Courtesy of Prairie Farms and North Star. This is the Prairie Farms Ice Cream Sunday. We are out here every single Cardinal home game on Sundays. Prairie Farms and North Star give out free either cherry ice pops or ice cream um, cups every single Sunday. So as you can see, there's a huge line out here today. Um, get a free ice cream and then also we've got all kinds of games and uh, stuff going on for kids. Science Center's out here every Sunday. You can build the yard. We've got different sponsors that come on in and host some games for your kids and uh, even adults too. It's something to do before the game starts. This is awesome. I haven't been here in a while. It's kind of cool to get free ice cream. It's so hot out and it's like, you know, it's not really time yet for the soda and the hot dog. You want an ice cream on your way to your seat, so it's the perfect thing. That ice cream is pretty good. What'd you put on it? Sprinkles. Ah, and does it taste good with sprinkles? Yes, yes it does. Prairie Farms Ice Cream Sunday. Totally free. Prairie Farms and North Star host it and, and sponsor it, so thanks to them. Totally free. Nothing like a free frozen treat right here at Bush Stadium. Okay, Fred's back in action. He's ready to keep his workout going. Let's do something simple, sit-ups. Okay, let's start with 50. Ready? Yeah, 50, let's go. Ready? Hey, Fred, we might need to work on your form a little bit. What do you think, you man? Come on, you're supposed to do a sit-up. There we go. Always getting there, it's a good start. But the trick is to keep it up, day after day, week after week. Work, 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 work. Yep, you've got to keep a schedule, just like the Cardinals do. As a matter of fact, why don't we check the Cardinals' schedule by putting up the Cardinals' calendar on your television screen, brought to you by the Magic House. I love that place. There are so many cool things to do there. Let's put the Magic House Cardinal calendar on your television screen right now by doing something magical like this. On Saturday, August 17th, the Cardinals are in Chicago, taking on the Cubbies. Then on Monday, August 19th, the team heads to Milwaukee for three games with the Brewers. And on Thursday, August 22nd, the Redbirds fly home to Busch Stadium to play four games with the Atlanta Braves. For tickets to the home games, call 314-345-9000 or log on to cardinals.com. And don't forget to visit the Magic House for super cool exhibits, exciting summer camps. It's even a great place for birthday parties. For more information, go to magichouse.org. Coming up on the Baseball Tip of the Week, learn the right way to play the game from the pros. Cardinals Kids, brought to you by SSM Cardinal Glennon Children's Medical Center. We'll be right back. My name is Cooper. Today I'm wearing a special camera to show you the Magic House, how I see it. Let's take a look. Cool. Ooh, look, there's a secret passage. We're in. <laughs> oh, and this, my sister loves. Bing! Whoa! And there's me, and there's me, and there's me, and that's my mom. This is awesome! Come and see for yourself. There's a surprise around every corner. The fall sports season is just around the corner. Get ready to win at Fisher's Pro Line Sports. They carry the best equipment for whatever sport you play. Everything from football and soccer to basketball and volleyball. Plus, they make custom jerseys and apparel for the players as well as the fans. And Fishers has the experience to make sure it's right for you. Go see for yourself at one of their two locations, on New Florissant Road in Florissant and on Edison Road in the Chesterfield Valley. Gear up at Fishers Pro Line Sports. It's time for the Deer Birds Strong Bodies Spotlight. Hi, I'm Rita from Cardinal Glennon. Dips are a really fun thing to do to make sure that you get some extra fruits and vegetables in every single day. Now, you might know about dips like onion dip, sour cream dip, but 
another thing that you can do that helps make your dips be just a little bit more nutritious and fun and different is you can use a base like peanut butter and mix it with pureed carrots or applesauce. If you want to make it even easier for your parents, they can get a jar of baby food and use that because it's already pureed and all you have to do is pop it open and mix it up and have a great time. Keep your body strong with tips from the Deerberg's Strong Body Spotlight. Hey Fred, check it out. We're back on Fox Sports Midwest and Cardinals Kids is brought to you by SSM Cardinal Glennon Children's Medical Center. Now, if you're just joining us, get ready to sweat because the Fred Bird Fitness Show is in full swing. You see, the big red bird has been getting a little too big and the donuts he had for breakfast didn't help. So now he's decided to trim down, well, as much as he can. And now for our next exercise, we're going old school with the medicine ball. Wow, this thing's heavy, Fred. I bet it weighs 30 pounds. You ready to play some catch? Tone up those muscles? I wonder why they call this thing a medicine ball anyway. Oh, I get it. Because when you play catch with it, you might actually need some medicine. <laughs> hey, what do you say we use something a little smaller and lighter like a wiffle ball bat because it's time for the St. Louis Prospects tip of the week, which always starts with 10 pitches. Let's go, medicine ball man. Come on. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, whoa, eight, nine. All right, here comes the money ball. <laughs> wow, all that work it out must be helping him. It's time for the St. Louis Prospects tip of the week. Help me out, Fred. Roll tape. Hey guys, I'm Matt Carpenter, infielder with the St. Louis Cardinals. Today we're going to talk a little bit about infield. When we bend at our knees, you want to have a good glove angle. And what I mean by glove angle is I want to have my glove out here in a good position that the ball can be received through, okay? So I don't want it turn this way, obviously, and I don't want it turn too much this way because this way my, my, my wrist is in a bad position and it's going to be tough to feel. So good glove angle with your wrist like this, being able to move up and down kind of in this lever motion right here. You also, with your opposite hand here, you want to make sure that you have it right above your glove and this helps for as the ball comes in having that there to, to stop it and also if the ball takes a bad hop this hand will help protect your face and protect your body from those bad hops. When you get the ball in your glove from here you want to bring it to your, to your waist. We like to call this a gather. So as I'm going down and I'm fielding my ground ball, I've now fielded it, I want to gather it and then we take our step and throw. One of the keys to making a good throw um, anywhere on the infield really is you want to follow it. And what I mean by following your throw, a lot of times, especially young players, you see guys when they field the ball and they go to throw, they step and they throw and all their momentum and their weight is back here on their backside. They're not following the, following the baseball. So one thing I like to do, tell all young players, when you field a ground ball, as you're going to, your, to, your, to whatever your base you're throwing, whether it be first, second, third, or home, as you release the baseball, you want to follow it. That helps bring your momentum towards your target, helps with, a more, with strength on your throw and accuracy. It helps you for a nice, firm, accurate throw across the diamond. If you'd like to get better, go to stlprospects.com and become a prospect. Hey, did you know that the uh, Cardinals Kids television show on Fox Sports Midwest is seen in six states all across the middle part of our nation? We're talking Missouri, Illinois, Kansas, Nebraska, Indiana, and Iowa. It's what they call Cardinal Nation. Before we go to break, take a swing at this week's BMO Harris Bank trivia question. Which major league player holds the record for the most number of extra base hits in a season? We'll have the answer right after the commercial break. Cardinals Kids, brought to you by SSM Cardinal Glennon Children's Medical Center. We'll be right back. We pledge our support. And this ball is gone! To the kids of Cardinal Glennon. This is a gunner! 
and to Cardinals Nation, who give to every home run. He's at the wall, yes! One pledge under the sun. Incredible and inspiring. With love and hope for all. Make your pledge today at Deerberg's, Johnny Max, or online at Glennon.org. Homers for Health is powered by Peabody and you. We're back, and Cardinals Kids is brought to you by SSM Cardinal Glennon Children's Medical Center. Hey, here's the answer to the BMO Harris Bank trivia question. Again, the question, which major league player holds the record for the most number of extra base hits in a season? And the answer is, somebody cue the horn section. The one and only Babe Ruth. He had 119 extra base hits in 1921 as a member of the New York Yankees, a record that still stands today. Thank you for playing BMO Harris Bank Trivia. Hey, Fred, we're back on Fox Sports Midwest, and Cardinals Kids is brought to you by SSM Cardinal Glennon Children's Medical Center. You can learn a lot more about them at cardinalglennon.com. Now, as you can see, Fred Bird and I are ready to burn some calories. And if we're lucky, we'll even find a waistline underneath this jersey. <laughs> the day began with Fred Bird down in some donuts. Not the best breakfast for a growing bird. So we decided to get him back on track with some fun and easy exercises. And now I thought we'd do an animal exercise. You know, since you're a bird and everything. I'm talking about frog jumping. It's gonna be awesome. Oh my gosh, Fred, you're really good at that. Who knew a big bird could bounce like that? You know, you've been working really hard. I think you deserve a reward. What do you say? Ice cream. Ah! Okay, okay, I'll get you a scoop. Maybe they still have some at the Magic House. Hmm. Yeah, that's where Cardinal Glennon had a big event and they had great ice cream. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Count it down for me, bouncing birdie. Three, two, one, roll tape. Today we are at the Magic House for Cardinal Glennon's Scoops of Fun. At Scoops of Fun, there are balloon artists, there are temporary tattoos, there are ice cream floats that are made, and this year we also have a fun photo booth for the kids and their families to enjoy here. We're really excited to be here tonight. We've got at least 12 employees inside. We're making buttons, making aprons, scooping ice cream, cleaning up, and greeting people. It's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> the kids are having so much fun, and the parents are having so much fun. The ice cream this year comes from Mr. C's, Andy's Ice Cream, Ben and Jerry's, Serendipity, and new this year, we're having the Fountain on Locust provide ice cream martinis. It's uh, very tasty. They should do this every year. The vendors uh, provide their product for free and their time and generously donate it to Scoop the Fun. Cookie Monster. It's cotton candy flavored ice cream with Oreos and cookie dough in it. I got buttercup powder, sprinkles, M&M's, yummy. All the money raised here tonight will go to the Cardinal Glennon Children's Foundation for the hospital's immediate needs. We believe in their vision and their mission and what Cardinal Glennon does in St. Louis for children, you know, regardless of their ability to pay. And so we believe in trying to make the community a better place and so do they. So we couldn't think of anybody better to partner with. What a cool way to have fun and support our friends at Cardinal Glennon. Now, since Fred's such a great frog jumper, I thought we'd have a race. After all, I am the champion frog jumper of Evansville, Indiana. And that's a big place, Fred. Are you ready, Wonderbird? First one of the dugout wins. Ready, go. <laughs> You really are fast. Plus, you're getting in some great leg and core work. Don't you think so, Professor Uban? 11 years of this show, just when you thought you'd seen it all, huh? Anyway, good work, Bunny Boys. But before you guys try any other moves out there, you might want to check out the Cardinal Glennon Sports Safety Tip. Hello everyone, this is Jake with Cardinal Glennon Sports Care, coming to you from St. Louis University with your Sports Safety Tip of the Week. Make sure to tell your coach or parents if you get hit in the head, especially if you feel dizzy, off balance, sick to your stomach, or have blurry vision or headache. These are some signs that you might have a concussion. Concussions are not something to take lightly and can lead to serious issues. 
so make sure to talk with your parents or coaches if you take one to the noggin. Thanks for the tip. Now kids, stay tuned because coming up next, we're expanding your knowledge of the game with the baseball phrase of the week. You're watching Cardinals Kids on Fox Sports Midwest. At SSM Cardinal Glennon, they provide care for all kids who need it. In their level one pediatric trauma center, they take care of kids with the most critical injuries. The sickest, tiniest babies are cared for in their level three neonatal intensive care unit. And at the St. Louis Fetal Care Institute, they perform life-saving surgeries for babies while they're still in the mother's womb. They help every child, regardless of the ability to pay. More than 60 subspecialties, staffed by caring nurses and expert doctors, help them take care of everything from a broken arm to open heart surgery. Go to cardinalglennon.com to find out more. Hey, you man, what's the phrase of the week? All right, kids, here's your Fisher's Baseball Phrase of the Week. The phrase is... Double clutch. A double clutch is when a fielder pulls his arm back twice before throwing the ball. This little hesitation often leads to the throw being too late to get the runner, just because the fielder double clutched. Kids, there's your Fisher's Baseball Phrase of the Week. Thanks for playing along. So, uh, Fred Bird, has all this exercise helped out? Uh, have you trimmed down a little? Oh, yeah, look at it. Let's check out the before and after photos. Uh, it looks like someone kind of messed with those pictures, Fred. Yeah, but either way, you're looking sweet. What do you say we finish strong with some speed walking? Okay, let's go. Fred, slow down, it's not a race. Uh, guys, you, uh, you really should be pacing yourselves. I mean, save some of that energy for next week's show. You can watch Cardinals Kids each Saturday morning at 11 a.m. right here on Fox Sports Midwest. And bonus, you can catch the show again on Monday and Wednesday afternoons at 2 p.m. And don't forget to visit us on Facebook and go to cardinalskids.com to learn about the show, send us your questions and comments, and even watch more video of Andy, Fred, and me. It's all at cardinalskids.com. Cardinals Kids is brought to you by SSM Cardinal Glennon Children's Medical Center, where their love for kids just keeps on growing. Hey, thanks for watching today. Maybe I'll see you on the radio sometime soon on KC95 in the mornings. Until next time, Professor U-Man, P-U, saying so long from the ball. Hey, Fred! Fred, get back here! Come on, Fred! You burn enough calories for the day. Hey, Fred, how come you don't move that fast when it's your time to clean up the sunflower seeds from the dugout? Or when it's your turn to do the dishes? Come on, Fred, slow down. Fred! <laughs>